What's up, YouTube fam, and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Gabrielle, also known as Gabby, back with another cash stuffing video. Today is going to be an exciting one. We have some child tax credit money to stuff, as well as our paycheck three. So I'm super excited to get into it. That child tax credit money, guys, came in so handy this month. Like my budget was tight, but we are getting it done this month. So if you are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Gabrielle. I do all things budgeting, cash stuffing, debt-free journey, savings challenge, all the budgeting things. So if you were into that, you're in the right place, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you in my community walking along on this journey to debt freedom, to financial freedom, all these things. So like I said, if you're into that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button as well. For anyone coming back, thank you so much for continuing to support me. I love you guys. And I'm just so thankful for you guys. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and hop on into the video. I'm going to get this money out of the way. Oh, we are also putting a, adding a 1K slip today. Milestone. So um, I'm going to get this stuff out of the way and we're going to get into my budget. You guys know I like to hit my budget up first to let you guys know where all the money is going and why and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get into that. Okay, guys, back with my planner. I do use a planner for all of my budgeting needs. So... If you would like to pick up a Erin Condren planner, I do have a link down in the description for where you can get $10 off of your first purchase there. And they have some nice things. I love Erin Condren's products, not necessarily the brand, but definitely like their products. So let's go ahead and turn over to the month of August and we can get into this budget. So here we are with my cash stuffing kit, guys. I created this recently and I've been using it for this month and I love it, guys. It is just personalized for me and how I like to set up my cash stuffings. I plan on having it for purchase very soon. So just stay tuned. Your girl has been very busy. So time, you know, time is not on my side as always. So anyways, bear with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. First things first, I like to start with our income, all of our income sources and chat it up about those. So we have our paycheck three coming in at $1,683 for the week. We also got our child tax credit. Thank goodness for that. And that came in at $800. If you have not caught my child tax credit video, go ahead and check that out. I gave a lot of information about the child tax credit. We get $800 a month and I chose to go ahead and keep mine because, you know, tomorrow isn't promised. But all this totals out to 2,483 and that is what I use to fund all of the things for this week. So for this week, we have our digital expenses and this is where all the things that stay online in my bank account come in at. So we have our car loan one coming in at 451 and that's going to go into our bill account. We have two accounts where we have bills and then we have like a spending account that's, you know, both like a two checking accounts for one for bills and one for spending. So our car loan is going to go into that bill account. Daycare is $325. That's going to go into our bill account. Gas is going to go into our spending account because you know that's more of a normal spending thing that we do. And investing is going to get $400. That's going to go to our kids investment account for their college and things of that nature when they get older. So that comes from that child tax credit. I did want to take a big chunk of that to put towards their future just because you know we normally wouldn't be getting that money. The last digital expense is going to be our debt snowball, and I'm just going to transfer that to our bill pay account for when that comes out. Super excited about the debt snowball, guys, because it is rolling this month, and we're going to put this 584 to our car loan. And guys, let me tell you about these car loan people. A little bit of story time here. So just when I'm about to make my first debt payment, they are have been like hounding us, emailing, calling my husband, saying that we can come in and trade our car in and, and they're paying top dollar for our trade in and we can trade it in and get a new car, a new 2021. Like, no, no, bro. No, no, we're not coming anywhere. Leave us alone. Okay. <laughs> so, and, and my husband, he's, he's definitely a car booty. So he's like, well, maybe we, no, no, we can't. We are on a debt free journey. We're not picking up any more debt. So y'all just, Pray for you, girl. Pray for you, girl. <laughs> so anyways, all of these digital expenses come out to a total of $1,810. After we subtract this 1810 from 2,483, we end up with $673 remaining. And I like to do it that way so I can see, so you guys can visually see how much we are working with to fund our cash envelopes, which is what I use this remaining amount for. So 
that is that. Next, we're going to come down to our cash envelopes. And um, we are doing good in our groceries department, guys. <laughs> we have $123 left over in groceries. Unbelievable for us. But we did stuff quite a bit at the beginning of the month. And then we re-upped it last, um, last week. So we're doing pretty good on groceries. I'm, I'm excited. But we have indeed been eating out a little bit more. So for groceries, guys, we are going to stuff $165. To add to that, eating out is going to get its 150 today, full 150 for the rest of the month and hope that the odds are in our favor. Spending, guys, is a little bit different. It's not going to be including this amount because we had already budgeted out all of our full spending money at the last paycheck. So what I'm going to do is take $50 from our checking account to fund this. So I will put... $50 right here. I'm just going to put parentheses around it so that you guys know it's from our bank account. And for saving challenge, it's going to get its normal 105. The girls is going to get $200. And that's also from this child tax credit money, just because um, I'm going to use this money for like school supplies and all that good stuff. Anything the girls needs, I take from I've, I'm taking from that account. I'm also been giving them allowances and things like that. And eh, it's kind of working. I feel like I need to be more consistent with that. But I did want them to learn how to deal with money more, especially my older daughter, who's a teenager. So yeah, we've been working on that. We're going to keep continuing. The next guys is going to be our sinking funds. And I know, annotate them with a star. And they're not going to be getting too much today. I think the total we're going to be stuffing is $53. But I'm going to put 20 into Christmas. I'm going to put five into car maintenance, um, 20 into vacation. Clothing is going to get a dollar. Gifts is going to get a dollar. Home improvement is going to get $2. Electronics is going to get $2. And miscellaneous is going to get $2. So all of this equals out to $673 you know, subtract that 50, but total stuffing today is going to be $723 because I'm taking that extra 50 from our bank account. So that is it. And that is all guys. Every dollar is spent. That's how I like to budget out my money. Each time it comes in, I like to have a dollar go everywhere because if I don't, it will be consumed by unbudgeted items. <laughs> so without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get set up for our cash stuffing and get into stuffing these envelopes. Okay, guys, we are back and ready to attack. I have my cash here. We're going to count it to make sure it's $723 and then we're going to get to stuffing. So I do have my 1K slip right here, guys. I am going to put this to the side and we're going to stuff that a little bit later. Let's go ahead and count this cash. So we have 100, 200, 300, and 400, and 450. Guys, bear with me on these 50s now. So 450, 470. 490, 510, 530, 550, 570, 590, 610, 630, 650, 670, 690, 700. So we have $700 there. We have 705, 710, 715, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23 good deal. Not too bad if I don't say so myself. And we're going to get the money in the cash tray real quick. I'm probably just going to put this this 1k slip in here as well in the hundreds slot. All right. Going to make sure we're in frame and everything. I guess I did reposition my lighting so it wouldn't be such a glare um i hope it works out so i will look at it when you know i'm editing so the first envelope we're going to be stuffing today is groceries and i should have some money left over and i do guys this is this is amazing so we have 120 21 22 and 23 and we're going to add 165 today and i think i'm going to take 100 um I think I'm going to take 20, 100, 20, 40, 60, and a five for that. So let's put it all together and see how much we have left for this week. And we still have one more stuffing, guys. I'm excited. I've been trying to cut back on groceries like a lot this month. Like 
we're not running to the grocery store every five minutes at all. So let's see what we have total in groceries. We have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88. So $288 in groceries. Great for the next week. So next we're gonna go to eating out and eating out is gonna get 165 today. I might just do 150. That's just what we're gonna get today in eating out. It's gonna be hard to break that 100, but it will be done. It will be done. Eating out is is doing good, guys. I just got back on my health kick, like strong this week. I'm doing good. I'm like two days strong. Pray for your girl. I'm trying to get this weight off. I have like about 10 to 15 more pounds that I want to lose. So nonetheless, here we are. Beauty is getting nothing today. Spending is going to get 50 and that's my husband's spending money. So I'm going to take two 20s and a 10. I knew that I would need that. That's why I kept it there. And that's for his spending money, which we're running pretty low on spending money, guys. I think we have like ugh, a $90 left. So it is what it is. Next is going to be girls and girls is going to get $200 today. And let's see what we have in here. I think we have $18, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yes, indeed. Um, $200. Um, there's a hundred there. There's a hundred there. I'm going to take two fifties and five twenties. So 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, two ten, two fifteen, two sixteen, two seventeen, two eighteen. 15, And that counting was a mess guys. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. But that is that for the girls' account. Well, um, envelope. Next, we're going to go to savings. And this is going to get a 1K slip today, guys. I think what I'm going to do is swap out for one of these nice 1K slips out of my lace. Give me one second, guys. This is completely not in, not, not in the script. Not that I have a script, but it's not in the script. But here's my um, sinking funds. But I'm going to take one of these out because I don't use this one that often. And I'll put this one in here just because, I don't know, I feel like I use this one more and I want the pretty ones on my main, my main, uh, my main envelopes. So we're going to put this to the side and we'll go to our sinking funds in just a second. So get our money back together. I like to have my money like, you know, focal. So... We're just gonna put this 1K slip to the side. We're gonna add 105 to our savings challenge today. So $105. And let's see what we have before we add the 1K slip. We have 1,000, 2,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, so that's gonna go like back to the bank. We're gonna put that right there and we'll add this. So that is 3,000, we have 50, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 225, 230, 31, 32. Let me count that again, guys. I always get thrown off, so 3,000. 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32. So 2,232 dollars in our savings challenge right now and replace that 1K slip. Good to go. Cause I'm gonna take that money to the bank, guys. I feel like I have a lot of cash at home and I just need to, I, I don't know. I've been hearing like some stories, so. I just need to get this money gone in, in the bank. So that is it for our checker binder. Let's move on to our rose gold binder. And that is um, glittery binder where I stuff my sinking funds that you just seen. So sinking funds, guys, aren't getting much. They're not getting much love at all this month. But, you know, some months they get more, more love just because we have extra income. But this month just didn't work out. So Christmas, guys, is getting $20. I did want to add quite a bit to this one, if you call $20 a lot, just because 
Christmas is getting close and I have not been giving this the attention that it needs. So let's see what we have in Christmas. 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 400, 405. So we have $405 in Christmas. That is awesome. Almost to that $500 mark, guys. And I need a lot of money for Christmas. I think I'm going to take some money, hopefully, from our budget in, in December and just add to this. We'll see how it goes. Car maintenance, guys, is going to get $5 today. We do have the cart maintenance things coming, so we're gonna add that in there. That's 100, 220, 25, 26. So $226 in car maintenance. Vacation is going to get $20 today, and I really need to beat this back up. Um, let's see, 50, 70, 90, 100, 101 dollars in vacation. Awesome. So we're, we're 100 in on vacation. Hopefully we don't spend too much of this. We do have my sister-in-law visiting this month. So that will probably be spent. I call that a vacation. Clothing is going to get a dollar today. The rest guys are going to get dollar increments. So, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. So 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57. So $57 in clothing. LASIK is getting nothing just because we have our money set aside for that and we have $3,000 and hopefully that will be at the beginning of 2022 for my LASIK eye surgery for anyone new. Gifts is going to get a dollar today as well. And we have 21, 22, and 23 dollars going into gifts. Next is going to be home improvement, and home improvement is going to get two dollars. And guys, we spent a little money from home improvement, so we have two dollars left in home improvement. So, home improvement now has one, two, three, and four. Four singles <laughs> looking a little bleak there. Birthday is going to get nothing today. I decided not to stuff this one. We have quite a bit of money in there. Not a quite a bit, but we have a little bit of money in there. So I just wanted to leave that. Electronics today is going to get $2. And this is for my iPad that should be coming soon. So I'm going to take $2 and add that in. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 650, 700, 750, 800, 850, 900, 950, 955, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 960. So we have $960 in electronics, and hopefully I can come into a little bit of extra money and I can get um, my iPad. I think I want to get to $1,200 there. So next is going to be miscellaneous, and miscellaneous is going to get the last $2. And I didn't pull this money out right at all. So... We have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars in miscellaneous. And that is all she wrote, guys. Money with Gab is my business as well as taxes. And right now we are not putting any money into those until I get a side hustle money. That's where I put my side hustle money from or YouTube per, per se. So that is it and that is all for our stuffing today. Um, I am going to uh, put the winners of our back to school giveaway up right now. I always get flustered at the end of the videos, guys, because I don't know what to say. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to put the winners to our back to school giveaway right here. Congratulations to those winners. Thank you guys for participating. We would not be able to do all of this or continue to be inspired if you guys were not here supporting us. So thank you guys for the support. And if you have not already subscribed, go ahead and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.